Wolfman, outdoor educator, adventurer, and travel writer. I'm here today to give you a little bit of information about myself as I've uh, published lots of magazines and uh, movies and things like that and most frequent questions that I get. So we can get started. Look, I didn't see that question coming. I think that is the number one question that I get either by email or by um, snail mail or anything like that. It's a really difficult question for me to answer. I grew up outdoors. I grew up on a farm and it just simply wasn't a necessary thing. As I got older, I just found that no matter where I traveled in the world, whether I was in deserts or, or climbing like low peak mountains under 10,000 feet, it just simply wasn't necessary. When I would watch movies like uh, Bridge of the River Kwai, for example, and they would say that there are no, there are no walls here, there are no um, fences here, and they would take the prisoner's shoes, and I found out that historically that actually did happen, that they would go and they would take some of the roughest and toughest and, and hardiest men in the world and they would put them on an island in the South Pacific and take their shoes and they would be incapacitated by this. I never could really understand that. Humans have been around for tens of thousands of years. So what happened? Why is it that in the last like couple thousand years we've decided that they're necessary? I see pictures in the 1800s of England of, of people, individuals working in factories and they were working in cotton jennies barefoot. It wasn't that big of a deal. It seems to only be in the westernized uh, culture, places like the United States and Canada and England and things like that, that wearing shoes is really kind of a big deal for them. That going without shoes is something really special or unique. And it's not unique. It's not special. Although it has certainly gotten me published in magazines like Canadian Geographic and Collingwood Life and countless um, magazine and, and uh, articles and newspaper articles, things like that. It's really not that big of a deal. I go out into the, into the wilderness. I don't bring my shoes with me. Right now I'm probably about 20 or 30 kilometers from where I left my car a couple of days ago. I didn't even bring shoes with me. They're not really necessary. I haven't been in, in a situation ever that I found that I needed them. People ask me how I can do it. It's just a part of who I am. It's, it's just part of my persona. Like, uh, you know, wearing a hat or glasses or a t-shirt or a necklace. Um, people also often ask me how I managed to get so tough on my feet. Uh, it's pretty simple. When you don't wear shoes, they naturally toughen. Your body is built and designed to go without shoes. So it's a really difficult question for me to a answer as to why I don't wear shoes. It's just part of who I am and it's just part of where I've gone in life. And I found whether I'm in deserts or whether I'm on mountainsides, it just, you can usually get away without them as long as your feet are tough enough. What about in winter? I get that question quite often as well. What do you do in winter? Just like everybody else, I cover up. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm the Wolfman. Please consider subscribing to my channel.